Hello everybody and welcome to Nokia Finland to visit the beast Nokia Disc Golf Park at the European Open 2024. Players are on the field, we are gonna go straight into the action. Look at the crowd, look at this Ganon Burr, T of 2, throwing the high sidearm. And Ganon Burr was this far away, so that's kind of nifty. Who was your le co leader going to this round? At this point, leading by two. This is a luxury to be this far up the fairway. He's jump putting. Wow. That's how you want to do it. Why do, wasn't there a shuffle this afternoon after the morning? Just not enough time to tell the earlier cards what their tee time is, so we had to keep the cards the same. Now, Ricky. It's leaking a little bit too far to the left. Oh, it corrects its course, and that is right next to the basket, folks. To make sure that four through eight doesn't get congested. Ricky T of two, wide sidearm, wants to skip, and gets it. He's almost in the bullseye, that's superb shot. See some players go in roller as well. Just a very specific line and usually dealing with the crosswind. Robinson, though, in the bullseye's edge. Going to the knee on the hillside. Going around these trees and he's, he's under the bucket, Brian. What a shot. Gorgeous. The spectators have kind of been cleared out is kind of what you're saying. Yeah. VIP only can access this area does get a little claustrophobic in parts. Not a, not a bad shot at all from Gannon Burr. Turnover sidearm. He's aiming at the right side because that's safer to land on. He should be fine. He's five for five to start the day after his 18th major championship. He's prepared to keep on doing that. Macbeth. Really good, really good. This guy's on fire and he's got that disc again in his hand. And it seems like there is a reason for it. He's under the basket for his 16th in a row. And I can assure you, this hole is not 40 meters long, as it might seem from one single camera angle. This is 328 feet through a tunnel. Now, Niklas, he's got to hit this. He knows he's already falling behind. Making the full routine count. Niklas Antila in for his third birdie in a row. Back. High sidearm. Cut it too tight, but still putting. Got through. Putting for birdie on two. In the basket. Counted. Great stop. Yeah, they had to really focus on the course management first couple of rounds. Look at this. And that's looking like potentially another birdie for Gannon Burr. Seven through eight. Taking it high and wide, hysering towards the basket, and Niklas Antila settling inside the bullseye. That is an overstable disc, and it looks like Paul chose perfectly. Now settle down, Chris Dickerson. Going from the left window, chasing the basket, hitting the pole, and settling down. Macbeth, forced to go to the knee, but he has a window. Oh, weak side snag. She's going straight at it. Can it 
Get some more stable. Stay, stay, stay. Miranda, to your five. It's got to get down. Oh, it does. Beautiful shot. Chris Dickerson going straight at it. This is straight as a beam, and that's that's on the on the tier. That's a bullseye, folks. Some umbrellas already out with the spectators, so minor droplets, but the sky is kind of clear. Niklas Antila makes a perfect shot. Not much wind. You see how still the trees are in the background. Oh, just over the hay bales, bullseye. Would you take a look at this? Waisaki, T of nine. Wants a big time skip, and he gets it. Ricky Waisaki, about eight meters left. Some crosswind right to left. Gets it done. Actually, I think it's a great change. Yeah. Gets it there. Another circle's edge putt for Gannon. Ooh. Oh, weak side again. <laughs> oh, the weak side is loving Gannon Burr right now. In the booth, it seems like it's a bit clearing off, but we are still on the verge of getting some other information. We, are, we will keep you posted when we get to know more. Now Macbeth, back on seven. Needs it to check up a little bit. That'll work. Paul Macbeth in the basket on seven. Look at that putt. That was, if that missed the basket, it's gone. 65 feet to the pin. Circle two's edge. Yeah, Ricky! He's in the basket. Look at that. It's exactly what he needed right there. The man's in the hunt. It's a tall order to chase down Gannon Burr right now, but he can at least put himself into a good position. Rolling back that Zuka replay for Ricky Waisaki. High in the air. And just a bit of crosswind right to left, and that helps him push towards the basket. <laughs> He's running, folks. This is just great, and Paul Macbeth showing us how it's done. Ricky is chasing the hot run for sure. He's yeah! running for the birdie. Oh! He's running it in. Folks. Give it to him. Six down through last seven. Two huge putts in a row. We are seeing highlight after highlight, but Chris Dickerson barely getting over the cage. We're back and we are at 18 with Nate Sexton for the birdie. Yeah. Oh gosh, giving the crowd what they want. Great back nine from Sexton. I'm just gonna lose it if this one goes in. <laughs> He's been so hot today with the putter, only two pars and all the rest 10 are birdies. Come on! I'm out. I'm done. Okay. See you. We just lost Epe. It's that. Coming down the stretch, you know what you have to do on some of these easier par threes. We're getting a thumbs up on the weather forecast. Chris Dickerson in the air. Roll forward, roll forward. He's there. Five meters left for Chris Dickerson. Back to Ricky on 12. Ricky gets into circle one, quite a far away from the from the leaders. Yeah, Ricky. Waisaki gets the birdie. Look at the card, man. Nine down through twelve. Antila, T of fifteen. This is lower than Jensen's. This is this is traveling far, Brian. 
Oh my. Flawless. Is Gannon throwing a high hyzer? He is. Really high, really wide. Does it carry? Oh, <laughs> the bass. Oh my goodness. And settles in about five meters. Uh, I think that's the best I've ever seen that line play on this hole. What a shot. Back on 14. Waisaki takes the forehand. He likes it. Come on, the man is on fire. Nine through the last ten. <laughs> what? <laughs> We've been talking about this guy all day long, and he keeps delivering. This is history for Andrew Miranda. This is something he can hang on to forever. Come on. 25 meters for the birdie. That's cash money. It's been a tie with Ricky Wysocki for second place. Just three off Gannon. Oh, what? What are they doing now? James Proctor. To your 14. It's this to hurry. He's getting there. That's the forehand you want to throw on this hole. Little bit of flip, hug the tree line close. Now Gannon Burr. Well, this is left. Oh, it hits the. <laughs> what a day for Gannon Burr. My goodness. And he's looking to tie. The course record 12 down. He didn't crush it. We were thinking maybe he could go even 14 down at some point. Going super high and wide. And Dickerson sticks it. He's literally under the bucket for the birdie. He knows what this hole can do to the players. Now Paul Macbeth. He's also going high and wide. This is huge. Spiking. Got it. Another one. He's feeling real comfortable to go forehand here. That needs to go. Oh, and it has just enough to get over the hay bales. Going to roll back in. And oh, what a day for the 18-year-old from the Central Coast. Big moment for him. Now Macbeth from perfect positioning. This is such a specific shot to the green. in the air he's under the basket oh That's my exactly goodness exactly what he needed to do in this situation to stay in the hunt here we go Gannon Burr minus 24 at this moment Paul Macbeth 21 under Ricky Wysocki 20 under Niklas Antila, Chris Dickerson, 17 under par. This course lets the players go low, and I think for a final round, this is the course to have it on. I'm excited to see Gannon come out with the energy that he came out with today, but I'm excited for Paul to get a full night's sleep and to come out here and give us a show. Hey everyone, Terry Miller, the disc golf guy here, and I feel like there's two options that remain. Either you click subscribe and you watch more golf and content right here on the channel, or you go outside and you play. If you're not going to do those, then head on over to the Disc Golf Network and make sure you sign up so you can watch live disc golf almost every weekend.